Hello friends, so welcome to the lecture on pseudo inverse and singular value decomposition. In the last lecture, we have learned least square approximation of over determined and under determined systems. However, we have used the matrix A transpose into A in case of uh, over determined system and A into A transpose in case of under determined system. And in particular for finding the pseudo inverse, we have used the inverse of these two matrices. At that point I told you that if the inverse does not exist, then we will discuss this case later. So, in this lecture we will discuss that case. So, let A x equals to B be an over determined system. where A is a m by n matrix with m greater than equals to n because it is an over determined system. So, in the last lecture we have learned the least square approximation of this can be written as like this x equals to a plus into b where a plus is the pseudo inverse of a and it is defined as a transpose a inverse into a transpose. So, if rank of the matrix a is less than n, this implies that A transpose A and the determinant of A transpose A equals to 0 and hence A transpose A inverse does not exist. So, now question is how to find least square approximation of such a system. So, for doing this we will you make use of singular value decomposition for calculating the pseudo inverse in these, this particular case. So, let A equals to U S V transpose B the singular value decomposition of matrix A. where u is a m by m orthogonal matrix and v is a n by n orthogonal matrix. and the matrix S is a m by n matrix containing the singular values of A. So, means we are using here full singular value decomposition. So, now we are having a system A x equals to B. So, A can be written as U S V transpose into x equals to B. From here I can write x equals to U S V transpose inverse into B. This can be written as V transpose inverse let us say S inverse I am writing as S plus into U inverse into B. So, from here I can write X equals to 
since v is an orthogonal matrix so v transpose is also orthogonal and here v transpose inverse will become v transpose transpose which will be your matrix v s plus and u inverse will become u transpose because u is also an orthogonal matrix into b now you can easily write v and u transpose because this you are having already in singular value decomposition of a now the question arise how to calculate this s plus so the matrix s plus is defined as so if sigma i j are the entries of s then the entries of s plus i am defining as sigma i j plus and this equals to 0 if sigma i j equals to 0 and it is equals to 1 upon sigma i j if sigma i j is non zero. So, for example, if you are having a matrix S which is m by n and the rank of the matrix A is r, r is less than minimum of m n n. So, it will be less than m in case of over determined uh, under determined system and less than n in case of over determined system. So, in both the case a transpose a as well as a into a transpose will be sing, uh, singular matrices and hence the inverse of these two matrices do not exist. So, in this case my s will be something of this shape sigma 1 0 0 0 sigma 2 0 and then I will be having 0 0 sigma r 0 0 0 0. So, these will be uh, matrix A in case of over determined system A m by a, n by n matrix and then what I am having so it is m by n matrix so this will be total m minus r 0 rows. In this case, your S plus will become a n by m matrix now, which is having 1 upon sigma 1 because sigma 1 is non zero here. So, it will become 1 upon sigma 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 upon sigma 2, 0. In the same way, it will be become 1 upon sigma r. And then what I will be having? I will be having n minus m 0 rows because there will be 1 upon 0. So, 1 upon 0 I will replace by 0. We will see this in an example. And then So, this will become n by n matrix which is having now m minus r 0 columns columns. If you see here s into s plus will become an identity matrix of r by r and then 0 blocks accordingly. So, in the first r rows there will be 1 in the di as the diagonal entries and rest of the places it will be 0. 
So, hence in this way we can define the pseudo inverse of S edge S plus and the pseudo inverse of A, A will become A plus which is V S plus into U T. So, let us take an example of this. Consider an example of fitting a line through data points, let us say one, two, two, three, and 3, 5. So, let us solve this example using the approach which I told you just now. So, here let the equation of line becomes y equals to m x plus c. So, here I am having x 1 y 1, x 2 y 2, x 3 y 3. So, now from the first equation I will get or in matrix form I can write it x 1 1, x 2 1, x 3 1 with multiplied with m c equals to y 1 y 2 y 3. So, please note that in each case the coefficient of c will be 1 because here c is having coefficient as 1. So, if this is my matrix A, this is x, this equals to b, then my matrix A will become here 1 1 2 1 and 3 1 x 1 is 1, x 2 is 2, x 3 is 3 and here b will become that is the right hand side vector y 1, y 2 and y 3. So, now I need to find out the values of m and c. So, it is an over determined system. If I perform the SVD of a, then the matrix a can be written as USVD, USV transport. So, where the matrix U will be a 3 by 3 matrix because M is 3 here, it is 3 by 2. So, M by N and the entries of this will be minus 0.3231.8 eight five three eight point four zero eight two minus point five four seven five point one eight three two and minus point eight one six five will be the second row and third row will be minus point seven seven one nine minus point four eight seven three and point four zero eight two. Here the matrix S will become a three by two matrix which will be having four point zero seven nine one as the first singular value of A the biggest one zero then zero sigma 2 will be point six zero zero five, and then a 0 row a minus a number of 0 row. So, this will be t minus 2 1 1 0 row and finally, v will be a 2 by 2 matrix the entries of v will be minus point nine one five three minus point four zero two seven 
माइनस पॉइंट फोर जीरो टू सेवन एंड पॉइंट नाइन वन फाइव थ्री हियर यू एंड वी आर ऑर्थोगोनल मेट्रिसिज एंड वी हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर डेट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दीज मेट्रिसिज द अल्टरनेट वे ऑफ डूइंग इट इज यूजिंग द मेटलेब सॉफ्टवेयर एंड देयर यू आर हैविंग डायरेक्ट कमांड फॉर फाइंडिंग द सिंगुलर वैल्यू डी कंपोजिशन एज एस वी डी ऑफ ए सो इफ यू विल परफॉर्म यू एस वी इक्वल्स टू एस वी डी ऑफ ए इन मेटलेब यू विल गेट दीज थ्री मेट्रिसिज सो दिस इज जस्ट एन अल्टरनेट फॉर डूइंग इट टू सेव द कैलकुलेशन एफर्ट्स so i am having now these three matrices so now my pseudo inverse of a will become a plus which will be v s plus u t here v will be this matrix s plus will be now a 2 by 3 matrix so it will be 1 upon 4.0791 0 ज़ीरो वन अपॉन पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो जीरो फाइव जीरो इन टू यू ट्रांसपोज एंड इफ आई कैलकुलेट दिस मैट्रिक्स ए प्लस सो इट विल बी ए नाउ टू बाय थ्री मैट्रिक्स बिकॉज ए इज थ्री बाय टू मैट्रिक्स विच इज गिवेन एज माइनस पॉइंट फाइव जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट थ्री 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 पॉइंट थ्री 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 एंड माइनस पॉइंट सिक्स 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 सो दिस इज माई ए प्लस सो नाउ इफ आई कैलकुलेट माई एक्स विच विल बिकम ए प्लस इन टू बी सो ए प्लस इन टू माई मैट्रिक्स बी इज टू थ्री फाइव the vector b so which comes out to be 1.5 and 0.3333 as the least square approximation of this system so in this way we can calculate the least square approximation solution using the singular value decomposition in particular we have used the singular value decomposition for calculating the pseudo inverse now let us make the analysis of it how we have done it lsa with svd or this lsa i can also write lls means linear least square solution so for doing this again consider x equals to b where a is m by n matrix with rank of a equals to r which is less than minimum of m n then if it is an over determined system the least square solution is to minimize square of x minus b square norm of this and we have to find out such x so if in particular i check about this particular thing then this i can write as u transpose a v v transpose x minus b here you know that v into v transpose is i so a v v transpose x will become simply a into x minus b so this bracket term is similar to this one moreover i am pre multiplying this particular vector by u transpose 
and in singular value decomposition of a you know that u and v are the orthogonal matrices. Since u is on orthogonal transformation, so u transpose is also an orthogonal transformation and we know that if u is orthogonal then u x equals to norm of u x equals to norm of x means norm preserve under the orthogonal matrix multiplication. So, the same thing I am doing here. Now, this thing I can write u t a v into v t x minus u transpose into b. Now, a equals to u s v t. So, from here I can write s equals to u transpose a into v. So, this I am replacing with s. So, s v t x minus u t b square. So, this equals to this one. Let v transpose x equals to z another vector. So, from here what I can write this can be written as s into z minus u t b this one or if I open this norm this can be written as i equals to 1 to r sigma i z i minus u i t b where u i are the rows of matrix u square and why I am taking up to r because the matrix a is having only r non zero singular values after that all sigma i where i is greater than r will become zero. So, this term will become zero. So, if this will become zero then i equals to r plus 1 to m it this will become simply this. So, from here I can write z i equals to u i transpose b upon sigma i for i equals to 1 to up to r from the first term and then it will be some arbitrary for i equals to r plus 1 up to n. As a result, if z i equals to this for first r, then first term will become 0. So, minimum x and the least square error in this solution will become summation i equals to r plus 1 to m u i t b whole square. Also you know that recall z equals to v t x. So, from here I can write x equals to v into z because v is an orthogonal matrix. Moreover, the length of the vector x equals to v into v transpose into x because v into v transpose is an identity matrix this will become v t x is z. So, v into z and since v is an orthogonal operator, so it will preserve the norm this equals to z. So, from here I can write hence least square approximation of a x equals to b given as x star that is the solution 
i equals to 1 to r u i t b upon sigma i this is my z i and then into v i because z equals to v transpose x. So, in terms of singular values I can write the solution of a least square solution in this way. So, if we see the earlier example which we have taken for fitting a line they are x star that is the least square solution can be given as i equals to 1 to 2 because we are having only two singular values u i t b upon sigma i v i. So, this will become u 1 transpose into b upon sigma 1 into v 1 plus u 2 transpose b upon sigma 2 into v 2. And if I calculate this particular term it is a scalar value this comes out to be 1.5072 and then v 1 is now the first column minus 0 0.9153 and this will become 4027 minus 0 0.298 this is this particular scalar value that is minus of 0.298 multiplied by with second column of the V that is minus 0.4027 and then 0 0.9153. So, if I do it, it comes out to be 1.4995 and then 0 0.33342 which is the same 1.5 and 0 0.333 which we obtained earlier with a plus equals to uh, means which we obtained already with x equals to a plus into b. Hence, the claim is verified. So, this is the another way of doing the analysis of least square approximation using the singular value decomposition and here we have seen that the both the answers are equal. Now, take one more thing means one more example where we are having 0 determinant. So, take one more example where we are having 0 determinant of the matrix A. So, example 2 solve x 1 minus 2 x 2 plus x 3 equals to 3 2 x 1 minus 4 x 2 equals to 0 and then x 1 minus 2 x 2 plus 3 x 3 equals to 9 and solve means find out the minimum norm solution in least square approximation of this system. Here if you see the matrix A is given as 1 minus 2 1, 2 minus 4 0, 1 minus 2 3 and the right hand side vector B is 3 0 9. If you check here determinant of A comes out to be 0 and hence you cannot obtain a inverse and you cannot find the exact solution like x equals to a inverse b. So, here if I perform the singular value decomposition of a then a will become u s v transpose where u is again will be a 3 by 3 matrix. So, it will I am writing it
So, this is my matrix U. The matrix S will be a diagonal matrix, a 3 by 3 diagonal matrix having singular values of A. So, first singular value is 0, 0, 0, second singular value is 2.5659. 0 and then 0 0 third singular value is 0 because determinant is 0. So, at least one of the singular value will be 0 and finally, matrix V is given as 4 1 7 8 minus 0 0.1596 0 0.89 4 4 point eight three five five point three one nine two point four four seven two and then minus point three five six eight point nine three four two and this nt zero. So here pseudo inverse of A plus will will become V S plus U transpose. So you can write V from here s plus will become 1 upon 5.780700 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 upon 2.5659 0, 0, 0 and according to rule it should be 1 upon 0, but 1 upon 0 is not defined. So, as I told you for writing the s plus 1 upon 0 will be replaced by 0 into ut and this matrix will be a 3 by 3 matrix and then the solution is given as x equals to a plus b which comes out to be 0 0 3. So, this is the minimum norm solution that is the least square approximation of this system using this approach. If we go with another approach then the solution x star is given by i equals to 1 to 2 because we are having only 2 non-zero singular values u i transpose b upon sigma i into v i. So, this becomes minus 1 point. So, this will be v 1 sorry not v 1 u 1 transpose b upon sigma 1 into v 1 plus u 2 transpose b upon sigma 2 into v 2 and if I calculate this particular term this will be a scalar multiplied with first column of v this will be again a scalar multiplied with second column of v this again comes out to be 0 0 3 which is same as x equals to a plus b using the earlier method. So, in this way I have told you the two different way of solving linear systems in particular finding the least square solution of the linear systems in case when the matrix A is having rank R and the size of A is m by n and r is less than minimum of m and n. So, in the next lecture we will learn another type of systems those are called ill conditioned systems and then we will learn how to solve those systems using the concept of singular values. Thank you very much.